Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to feed your PA through the X Dante card on the Behringer X32. And I'm also gonna show you how to feed monitors via Dante as well. So if you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in a previous video that I have on my YouTube channel, I taught you how to install the X Dante card into the Behringer X32, giving you 32 in and 32 out of Dante. If you missed that video, there's a link down in the description below, so make sure to go check that out. But we have an X32 here, and it has the X Dante card, and it's plugged into a Dante network. Now, I have this written out here, and I'm wanting to complete this for the Dante network today. So I have 12 mix buses that I'm going to be sending to Dante for monitors. So there's a little RedNet AM2s. There's different RedNet devices that you can feed Dante out into a headphone adapter, or maybe you're feeding Dante into a in-ear monitor system. There's a lot of different things that you can do with that. So that's what we're doing here. Additionally, I'm going to send 16 of my Ultranet P16 outs to Dante as well. So if you're using a monitor system like Clang, you could use this as well for that device. We also have our main left right here that I'm wanting to send to Dante 31 and 32 to use for actually feeding our system. Now, I don't have all of these Dante devices on my network right now, but we can show you how to do it inside the console, and I can show it to you in Dante controller. So we have Mixbus 1 through 12 are gonna be monitors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up all of my Mixbuses to Unity Gain, which is at zero. Now that I have those 12 set, let's go ahead and route them into our expansion card. Now, what we're gonna be utilizing is our user routing. So we're gonna go to routing, and we're gonna tab over to card. And once we're here, we're going to navigate all the way down to user out one through 32. Now this is gonna give us 32 independent things that we can send to our Dante card. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna page all the way over until we get to patch points and user. So we can see that we have input here. We can depress our first rotary knob to get to output. So here is our 32 outs that we have. We actually have 48, but we're only gonna be using 32 for this instance. So I want to select my mix bus. However, I'm not actually able to send my mix bus directly to this user output. I actually have to go through an XLR output technically on the board for routing because we can see that there's no mix buses listed here. So we can actually tab over to the output tab here. And this is where we will have our mix buses routed to. Now by default, if you have a full size X32, one through 14 is going to be your mix buses. And we can see that as I scroll here through these. We can see I'm doing all my mix buses until we get to 14. And then once we get to 15, that becomes our main left. And then 16 is our main right. Now, say you have a smaller version of the X32, say a compact, a producer, an X32 rack. Those are going to be coming out of outputs 7 and 8. So you might have to do a little bit more as far as your user patch on which, which ones you select. But we have our mix buses 1 through 12 listed here on outputs 1 through 12. So if we go over to our user output, all I'll have to do is select outputs 1 through 12 here. Now the next thing that I want to have is the ability to send my 16 P16s or Ultranet outputs to Dante as well. And so if we tab over to P16, we can individually select anything to be on these channels. So we can go back over to user and we can go to P16 out and we can select on one. So this is going to start on Dante 13. So we can go to output 13 and we can go P16 out one. And we can see that we are currently on our Dante 28. 
Now, the very last one that we need to set is our main left-right output. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to 31, and I'm going to go to my output 15. Now, if you have the smaller version of the console, say the compact or the rack, you would want to be selecting output 7 and making sure that the remainder of your mix buses are correctly set. So we can go output 15 for our main left and output 16 for our main right. So we can go through and double check that we have everything. So we have outputs 1 through 12 being our mix buses going on Dante 1 through 12. And then when we scroll down more, we can see our P16s start on output 13 and go all the way down to 28. And then we have two blank channels and then output 15 and 16, which is our main left right. Now, one last thing that you'll need to make sure of is that all of your outputs are set to post fader. Now, this does not make it so that your monitor sends from the channels going to that monitor bus are post fader. Those are actually set differently. So those can be set as a pre fader configuration, which is what you want for a monitor. But this is the actual tap of the master that's sending to Dante. So if I had this set on pre fader and I went to go turn this down, it wouldn't actually turn it down because it's set to pre-fader. But because it's set to post-fader, if I go and adjust this volume up and down, it will adjust the volume of that mix bus going to that monitor, say, up on stage. Same thing with your main left right. If you had on output 15 and 16, this tap point set to anything other than post-fader, when you go and turn this up and down, it's not actually going to affect the volume going to your main PA. So the very next thing that we need to do is do some configuration inside of Dante Controller. So I have my laptop over here with Dante Controller, and we can see that I have my Dante Controller here, and I also am running Dante Virtual Sound Card just to give myself something to patch to. Now, I am going to go to my device view because this is my favorite view to patch from. So I'm going to simply go and find my device that I want to be patching the X32 to go to, which is going to be right now my MacBook. So we can see that I have my DBV Audio X32 sitting here, and I have all of these outputs, 1 through 32. And so I'm going to say that my channel 1 through 12 here needs to be my monitor. So I'm going to select 1 through 12. Now this would be my mix buses, 1 through 12. Now additionally, I want to make sure that my P16s are going to this. For instance, if this was a clang, I would want to make sure that they are also getting all of these outputs. So 13 through 28, I'm going to select them here, and I'm just going to drag them down into this. And very lastly, I want to have my main left and right going to this on my 31 and 32. So I'm going to select 31, 32, and drag them here. Now, say I wanted to have 29 and 30 being my stream, and I also wanted to send my left and right PA to that, I can. So I can simply select these again and drag them again. So we now have duplicates of 31 and 32 being my main left and right on 29 through 32. Now, if we wanted to see this in our routing page, we can simply go and see that this is my MacBook. This is what's going to be receiving data from the X32. So up here is the transmitter. So this is what's transmitting to the receivers. So my MacBook is wanting to receive all of my 12 mix buses, as well as the 16 P16 sends. And then I can see that I have my 31 and 32 being my main left right selected on 29 and 30 and 31 and 32. That's as simple as it is for getting our Dante routing out to a main PA that's Dante enabled, or even our monitor sends going to a monitoring platform that has Dante. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below. And if you happen to have a video that you hope that I will make in the future, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below as I'm always looking through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel or become a member of my channel to be able to help support me and the videos that I'm creating for you.
Make sure to check out drewbrashler.com. And like always, have a great day.